Hello everyone, it's an interesting little video here showing Ukraine using a fiber optic controlled cable drone to hit a T-72 B3M tank. The pile of junk that is the T-72 has disguised itself as an even bigger pile of junk. It wouldn't look out of place in your average Russian city by now. The tank is occupied as we see it fire as the drone approaches. It's hit twice. The first drone actually does the job, setting the T-72 on fire. But a second drone is sent in to finish it off. You can see that the second drone flies into an open hatch to detonate inside. So this tank had been abandoned after the first strike. The fiber optic drones are quite interesting. This is the first video I've seen of Ukraine using them, but I have likely missed past videos. It was Russia who actually started using these first in Kursk. The advantage these have over standard drones is they can't be jammed as they're manually guided in via fiber optic cables. A disadvantage is the chance of the cables getting entangled and that sort of thing. But it is a good idea. Russia has had a lot of success with theirs, so I can definitely see why Ukraine has started using them as well. This was geolocated by Dominic on Twitter, to be in the trees here. Zoomed out, you can see this is in the town of Zovta in the next region. Let's switch to deep states. So you can see Zivta is here, south of Pogrovsk which is a major target for Russia at the moment for the ongoing offensive. And zoomed out again, the Eastern Front. So this is in a key area at the moment and an area we do need to keep an eye on. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. Now I'm going to play a video from Cars for Ukraine about the ongoing fundraiser. Thanks so much and take care everybody. <laughs> Звертаємося до команди Бандера Автомобіль та Кар Фор Юкрейні про допомогу нам з машиною пікап або поза шляховик для виконання бойових завдань доставки безпілотного майна на наші позиції. Дякуємо за розуміння. Слава Україні! Героям слава!